A recently spotted comet is making its way towards Earth and holds the potential to shine as brilliantly as Polaris, commonly known as the North Star. The arrival of this cosmic wanderer was detected on the evening of August 11, 2023, thanks to the efforts of Hideo Nishimura, an amateur astronomer from Japan who has an impressive track record of uncovering comets. What sets this discovery apart is that Nishimura spotted the approaching comet while it was traversing Earth's orbital path, prior to any automated observatories like PANSTARS, ZTF, or ATLAS that systematically scan the cosmos. At the moment of identification, the comet displayed an apparent magnitude of 10.4, approximately 40 times dimmer than a star barely visible to the naked eye. With its journey bringing it closer to both Earth and the Sun, the comet's luminosity is on the rise. By August 26, its brightness had surged to a magnitude of 7.9, representing a remarkable tenfold enhancement compared to its initial sighting. In this video, you will find every detail on how to see Comet Nishimura in the coming days. Before we start, make sure to click on that subscribe button as it's the best way to support this channel. The officially designated name for the comet is C-2023 P1 Nishimura. But what's the rationale guiding this specific name? Well, the name assigned to a comet imparts significant insights into its characteristics, origins, and the circumstances of its detection. The system used to name comets and asteroids adheres to a structured convention. It commences with a prefix that indicates the category of the celestial body, in this instance, C slash signifies a non-periodic comet, one that takes more than 200 years to complete an orbit around the Sun and might possess an irregular trajectory. Following the prefix is the year when the discovery occurred. For this case, it's the year 2023. Then comes a combination of a letter and number, serving as a code for the time of discovery. Each month is divided into two halves, labeled alphabetically, A for the first half of January, B for the second half, C for the first half of February, and so on. The accompanying numerical component designates the sequence of the discovery within that specific time frame. Lastly, there's the option to incorporate the identifier, the individual, observatory, or telescope responsible for detecting the object. Consequently, C-2023 P1 Nishimura designates a non-periodic comet, the foremost discovery from the opening half of August in the year 2023, credited to the efforts of amateur astronomer Hideo Nishimura. The comet identified as P1 Nishimura is scheduled to make its nearest approach to Earth on the 12th of September in 2023, followed by its perihelion, the point of its closest proximity to the Sun, just five days thereafter. It's somewhat regrettable that the comet's passage did not coincide with December, as such timing would have offered a remarkable spectacle, with the comet approaching within a mere 0.06 astronomical units, equivalent to roughly 9 million kilometers from Earth. The comet's orbital characteristics appear rather peculiar. Its unexpected appearance from the southern region, aligned closely with the Sun's position, took us by surprise and may explain its prior lack of detection during the preceding summer. P1 Nishimura is charting a retrograde trajectory, inclined at approximately 129 degrees relative to the flat plane along which the planets orbit, known as the ecliptic. This signifies that the comet is moving contrary to the direction of the inner planets within the solar system. Additionally, the comet's orbital eccentricity slightly surpasses one, suggesting it's likely an incoming visitor from the distant Oort cloud, a region far beyond the solar system. Once it achieves its nearest point to the Sun, the comet is anticipated to be propelled outward into the expanse of galactic space, headed towards the southern constellation Pyxis. If you're intrigued by the prospect of spotting the newly discovered comet on your own, it's important to be prepared for an early start, typically ranging from one and a half to two hours before the sun rises. To catch a glimpse of the comet, you'll require either binoculars or a telescope, as its current luminosity isn't sufficient for naked eye observation. Opting for a location with minimal light pollution, 
away from strong sources of illumination, is advisable. The key advice is to secure a vantage point that affords an unobstructed and expansive view of the sky, specifically in the direction of the east to northeast. Between August 26th and September 4th, the comet's trajectory will traverse the dimmer stars within the Cancer constellation, characterized by its resemblance to a crab. Subsequently, commencing on September 5th, the comet will traverse the upper portion of the recognizable star formation known as the Sickle. This distinctive pattern forms an inverted question mark and symbolizes the head and mane of the constellation Leo the Lion. As we progress within this time frame, Comet Nishimura will continue to intensify in brightness. By around September 5th, its luminosity might elevate to the extent of reaching the fifth magnitude, potentially even allowing for unaided eye visibility. For days later, there's the likelihood of a more than twofold increase in brightness, conceivably attaining the fourth magnitude. Sadly, as the comet gets closer to the sun, it will gradually sink lower in the east to northeast sky each morning. By the time September 9th arrives, the comet's altitude will be approximately 10 degrees above the horizon. This measurement is akin to the span of a clenched fist observed from an extended arm's length, just as the sky begins to illuminate with the onset of dawn. On the dawn of September 12th, even though the comet's brightness might have intensified, possibly reaching the third magnitude, it will still linger just above the horizon. This occasion may serve as your final opportunity to catch a glimpse of its presence. An additional chance to observe the comet arises on September 17th, marking its closest proximity to the sun. According to certain sources, there's a possibility of spotting the comet within the evening sky, positioned nearly directly overhead as the sun sets. At this juncture, P1 Nishimura could potentially radiate with the luminosity of the second magnitude. Nevertheless, this will position it about 11 degrees away from the sun, and the sun's potent radiance is likely to overpower any conceivable view of the comet. Thus, the initial week of September emerges as the prime window to witness this celestial visitor. Owing to a mere six-day span of observation, the comet's long-term trajectory remains ambiguously defined. In the event its eccentricity exceeds one, it implies that P1 Nishimura is navigating a hyperbolic path. Following its closest approach to the sun, the comet will embark on an exit from the solar system, vanishing beyond the realm of visibility. P1 Nishimura may not etch itself into memory as vividly as Neowise, Leonard, or Hale-Bopp comets, but there's another comet on its way to Earth that could potentially outshine even the most brilliant stars that grace our nighttime canvas. This celestial marvel goes by the name C-2023 A3 Suchinchin Atlas. This extraordinary cosmic entity was initially detected in the early moments of 2023, when its distance from our planet measured about 7.3 astronomical units. Rapidly closing in on Earth, it holds the promise of being the most luminous comet throughout the entire decade. Should the comet's behavior align with expectations, it's anticipated that its visibility will extend to modest telescopes during the onset of the summer in 2024. Progressing towards the close of September in that same year, there's even a likelihood that it could become discernible to the unaided eye or through binoculars, appearing as a pre-dawn presence situated low in the eastern sky prior to sunrise. It will be positioned towards the east before the sun ascends. The existence of a tail at this stage remains uncertain, contingent on the comet's age and level of activity. During early October 2024, Comet A3 will draw remarkably near to the sun from the vantage point of Earth, causing it to vanish from view. If the comet manages to survive this intimate encounter with the sun, it's projected to re-emerge within the northern hemisphere sky around October 11th or 12, 2024. At this juncture, its luminosity will shine after sunset and gradually ascend higher with each passing evening, simplifying its observation. Under favorable conditions, Comet A3 could surpass the brilliance of most stars visible during the night. However, 
The capricious nature of comets makes predictions uncertain, leaving us with no choice but to patiently await the impending closeness of this extraordinary celestial visitor and witness its unfolding behavior. Let us know what you think about Comet Nishimura in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you soon with another interesting video.